Hi there, Halu here. Hello, good afternoon. Today is Tuesday, June 4th, and it's been a while since I did one of these. As I mentioned from a previous vlog back in April that I was going to be slowing down on doing the daily kind of uh, videos in my car, on the way to work, that kind of stuff. And it's actually given me a lot more time to catch up to the current vlogs. I am currently, as we speak, working on April 15th to the 21st, and that is going along pretty well. Got a couple days done done this morning and it's a surprise because I nearly did a 12 hour session of work yesterday. Couldn't sleep after that, slept around at 2 a.m. Woke up at 5 a.m. this morning, super tired but was just like I need to put a little bit more effort and I need to just have a lack of sleep if I'm going to continue working on closing the gap between these vlogs. My plan is once I actually close the gap on these vlogs to actually create the shorts to start posting more short form content whether that be YouTube shorts or Instagram reels and TikTok. Um, videos. The more that I'm creating this exercise for me to edit, the faster I'm working. Like it is very, very quick for me to put together videos now. I really just have to buckle down, sit through it and just edit. And the more that I'm doing it, the more fun it gets. So I actually had a really great time editing the videos from April today, this morning. And I just like looking back on like when my mind starts to change directions, when I start to think differently about how I do these things. But just to catch you guys up over the past couple of weeks, nothing too exciting has been happening. I've just been pretty much going to work and doing my thing daily. You know, try out some new games. I've been playing X Define, which is like this free to play arena shooter sort of of like Call of Duty but you know just playing games here and there last week I could not get up at all this week I feel completely fine and energized and motivated to work so I think I'm just continuously riding this wave of like on and off on and off and I think that's with anyone who struggles or works in something that is creative you just kind of get burned out sometimes you kind of get tired you're unwilling but that's pretty normal I would say it comes and goes but I think the more that it comes the better it is that it grows so it's definitely a good exercise to just keep on going, pushing, even though I'm extremely tired. It feels good. It feels good to make progression. Got two new subscribers yesterday, so that was really cool. Like, I haven't gotten a subscriber since I started making these vlogs, and everyone who is a subscriber is just from, you know, previous videos and promotions I did back when maybe I was streaming or just making, like, short-form content. So, welcome to the channel. I appreciate you guys for subscribing. Uh, two new subscribers. That's pretty great. That's pretty awesome. So, thank you guys for tuning into the channel and hearing what I have to say. But yeah, life has been pretty good. I've just, you know, tried to practice being less guilty, um, try to feel less anxiety and, and like stress about not doing certain things and not following certain routines. And habits and routines are just great to have as sort of like a layout or blueprint of what you should do. But, you know, to not follow them, I shouldn't punish myself for doing that. And my girlfriend's a great reminder of me to just, you know, take it easy sometimes and take rests and take breaks. I used to be so good at that when I lived in San Francisco. I was totally about resting, relaxation, spirituality. But it seems like now that I'm getting older, time is running out. I'm just trying to build something for myself as soon as possible. I think this channel is a great place to start because, you know, just building a reputation of my life and who I am and, and having a documentation of that is just a, uh, a fun experience and, and my friend recently told me like he's not even as courageous as I am to put myself out there like that and I don't really think it's that courageous or brave but I guess it's not easy for most people to film and document and talk about themselves uh, to a camera and put it out there for people to see. But I, I don't really have a problem doing that. Obviously being aware and cautious of like exactly what I say and, and, and how vulnerable I actually get. Yeah, I don't really have a problem sharing like my life with uh, the internet. It's it's fun to me and it's and whoever takes a peek into my life and has an interest in it, thank you. I would love to connect and even get to know you some more. But yeah, nothing too crazy has gone on. This past weekend I went to my co-worker's baby's first birthday. That was pretty cool. Hung out, watched the UFC fight and that was pretty chill. But other than that, just um, trying to work on the vlogs whenever I can, go to the gym whenever I can and just living life as it should. Not trying to rush, not trying to jump to conclusions or, or make anything happen overnight. It's just working, 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 and working towards progression and growing. And at the end of this month, my girlfriend and I are going to be going to Japan, so I'm looking forward to that. Lots of things on the itinerary. We're going to be traveling all over the 
country to some places I have been and others I have not. So I'm very excited for that and even more excited to document the travels with my girlfriend and I. I think those are a lot more interesting than watching me sit in my car during lunch and spiel about my problems. But yep, that's a little quick update on my life. And that's it for now. Talk to you guys soon. Peace. June 7th, 2024. It's Friday, so we hit up Poke Bomb again for some delicious raw fish. I got a bowl with shrimp, albacore, and spicy tuna on a bed of rice and greens. Added some imitation crab meat, masago, onions, and corn to round it out. I think albacore has become my favorite fish to eat raw. June 9th, 2024. Sunday was a cleaning day, but I also got some gear to prepare for my upcoming trip to Japan. I picked up this cool camera strap that I can wear on my head or chest. Spent some time learning how to use it and testing it out. It's pretty cool to be able to capture things in POV without holding anything. If you know me, you know I hate holding things. That's why I always carry a backpack. I also got this water pick thing for my teeth and it's supposed to shoot water into your mouth and clean plaque better. But honestly, it kind of hurts and I'm not using it that often. Plus, it runs out of water so quickly. June 14th, 2024. Skipping past the work week, on Friday, we ate at Prince Dumpling in Rosemead, California. This place is similar to the famous chain Din Tai Fung, except it's way more affordable with shorter wait times. We got this cucumber appetizer, Xiaolong Baos, which are pretty much crab and pork steamed dumplings, wonton and chili oil, beef wraps, fried calamari rings, and even Shanjing Baos, fried Baos with soup inside. Word of caution, those Shanjing Baos are extremely dangerous when hot and will literally squirt soup if you bite them wrong. The meal was delicious and is definitely a great alternative to Din Tai Fung at a more attractive price. June 19th, 2024. My friend Kiana had started a run club and had been inviting me for weeks. I finally found some time to join and brought along my friend Clifford. We met up at Vincent Lugo Park for what was supposed to be a quick jog, but we ended up walking and talking more than running. It was still enjoyable being outside after work instead of heading straight home. Hey, why are you guys so slow? Oh God! <laughs> you came to the run club, right? You were here for the run club? Later that night, Clifford and I met up with our mutual friend Brandon, one of my previous housemates, for a show. We saw Shaolin Cowboy, a dance and electronic producer we've been listening to for a while. The venue was Jungle Hollywood and had this lion figure in the outside area that looked incredibly real. The night was cool. Even though I wasn't familiar with a lot of the songs from the set, it's always a good time when I go out dancing with my friends. June 20th, 2024. The next night, I met up with my friend Tiffany for a long delayed dinner. We ate at Cafe an Italian Japanese fusion restaurant. We ordered the beef tataki. Eating the chip for the vlog. There's a spoon. Failing to eat the chip. There's a spoon. I don't need spoon, I need chip. Good, good. Good chip. Also buko. Buko, buko. <laughs> and uni pasta. We carried on our night at the source in OC and took some photo booth photos. Photo booths are fun, but I always worry about the cleanliness of the accessories they allow you to wear. It's kind of dirty. June 21st, 2024. Once again, it was Friday. So we, twice again, got pokey. As you can see, my coworkers and I really love our pokey lunches. Later that night, my friend Alex and I went to go see one of my favorite producers ever, Skeller. He's one of those OGs that brought my music taste into the wave scene. His sound is extremely original and he puts together sets I've never heard of before. Opening for him was Back When and Escape, and oh my god, Back When's set was absolutely perfection. Hearing this 
with music live is so fun and creates this energy that makes you feel incredibly cool. When Skeller came on, the whole room erupted. I had previously flown to London just to catch this man live back in 2021, and then another time in LA after that, but this set was just pure bliss for me to experience. June 22nd, 2024, guess what? The next day we went back for some more Skeller. I didn't even know that there was a second show until the previous night. So after last night's show while struggling to survive at work, Alex and I made plans to go again. However, once we confirmed that we were down, he bought the last ticket. Luckily for me, Skeller saw the Instagram stories I made about contemplating whether to go again or not, and he invited me to come, giving me guestless access. I'm so happy I won again because he pretty much played a 100% unreleased set, which is now released as Night Drive. These two nights were the cherry on top of June before going on my travels. Sunday, June 23rd, 2024. As a family, we went out to lunch to a local spot in Rosebead by name of Summer Rolls. Their specialty here is spring rolls and other delectable Vietnamese dishes like bun bèo, bun bò hue, and bun sale, which I got for myself. However, when I ordered it, I didn't expect it to be so huge. I mean, look at it in comparison to my hand. Monday, June 24th, 2024. I had the pleasure of picking up my girlfriend from the airport. I always feel a little silly just waiting around at the airport with some flowers and not being able to find her. I always feel like she's somewhere already having spotted me and just recording me look stupid and lost and confused. I used my music festival skills and navigated through the airport crowd and found her at our meeting location. Hi, baby. Hi. Hello. For dinner, we met up with her best friend at Golden Delight for some delicious stone pot pho. This place is always so busy, and I'm glad that we were able to be seated before they closed. For myself, I got the oxtail pho and began gnawing away at those bones. Mm -mm -mm. Tuesday, June 25th, 2024. This new Chick-fil-A just opened up and us chicken lovers just had to get some. We got chicken sandwiches, waffle fries, and nuggets. You can never go wrong with chicken. Later that day, we took my nephew to his first rock climbing session. Being a casual climber myself, I was very excited to see my nephew on the rocks. <laughs> he was extremely eager to climb and actually made it to the top. Honestly, that was a very proudful moment for me as an uncle. I was worried he would fear getting down, but he listened and took his time with it all. For dinner that night, we got takeout from Red Chicken in Temple City. This place is known for their Hainan chicken, but being a lover of fried stuff, you know I just had to get the half and half. And my girlfriend got the orange chicken. To be honest, Trader Joe's frozen orange chicken is much better than this, but it wasn't terrible. As usual, thanks for watching. I appreciate you for tuning in. And I'm trying something new here. I'm using my stream setup. I got lights on my face. I'm narrating with video. And I'm just trying to see how it is and see how I can incorporate more of myself into these videos. There's a lot of times in my vlog where I don't even have like footage so I kind of have to slow things down, repeat footage if necessary just to kind of fill in the voiceover. But I think it's a nice touch for me to actually record myself and also record the voiceover at the same time just so that I can have some more footage to put in between that. Plus I'm talking anyway so if you're gonna listen to me talk might as well see me talk right. But yeah just trying new things out and trying to evolve the vlog and just um, enhance the experience and entertainment 
entertainment value of my own life. Whatever you see is whatever you get from these videos. So this is exactly how I experience my days. And uh, it's fun for me to watch back to it. I remember dates a lot better. Doing these vlogs allowed me to remember when things happened throughout my year. Like, oh yeah, I can say like in February, I went to Hawaii. So doing these vlogs are very fun and I just want to continue making it better and better. And eventually, uh, once I get the hang of it, then I can start making like other videos of other topics the things I like to do. But for now, um, just sticking to these vlogs and having fun with it. But yeah, that's it for June. Thank you for watching and halu at you later. Got scammed for a uh, shot of the beaky. That's you. <laughs> Is that on the menu?